All right, guys. Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was speechless today, that's for sure. It's snowing, as you can see, and I should be prepping and getting ready to go out plowing all night long, taking out the equipment. But instead, I'm going down to the repair shop because my guys destroyed a brand new snow plow. And it's one of those things where, as an owner of the company, I have to take responsibility because I didn't catch the continuing ongoing mistakes that were being made. But sometimes as owners, you can't be everywhere. Oh, there you go, you know what? I just made an excuse, that's BS. It's my fault. It's not their fault, it's my fault. I should have uh, caught them, I should have warned them and showed them the right way. I didn't do it, so the snowplow that got destroyed, brand new snowplow that got decimated, that's on me, guys. So, we're gonna have some fun today. Yeah, not every day goes the way you want it. Today, we're gonna go pick up the snowplow. It's repaired, ready to go. It's one of our favorites, I'll be honest with you. It's a quattro plow, I love this thing. The production of this machine is, trans it just transformed one of our skid loaders. Taking red out, and uh, well, let's go suggested I try one out so here's one in the back of my truck and I found out I absolutely love this thing it's a game changer so I made a review video on that so I want to hear from you what else should I be checking into guys Okay, so one of the things, Elliot, when you scrape like that, you're not getting any more down pressure than if you scrape at a lesser angle. But what can happen is you're going forward, if you hit something, you can bend, slightly bend, the hydraulic arms, the hydraulic cylinders, and then you'll get a weird leak out of them. Okay? Another something you don't know until you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know until you find out. Right. So let me show you. Go ahead and angle it down. Yep. Back it off a little bit. All you gotta do is have just the slightest bit. It doesn't improve anything. Now if you hit something, if you're less likely to bend those cylinders. You don't know what you don't know. Skid loader. Plow one way and plow the other. Now check this out. This thing is freaking massive. The amount of snow this uh, quattro plow handles is insane. Look at him. He's going, he's articulating around the corners. What a hot shot. Actually, I love it. We were using it with the angle slightly off and rapidly wearing down the very front cutting edge on the side wings. But when that happened, we actually wore so far through that we went right past the bolt holes on the side wings and those had to be completely removed and replaced. There is actually an upside to this story because when we removed the side wings and replaced them with new ones, we were also able to update the Quattro plow with a new updated, we've upgraded the side, the cutting edge to a steel plate but the steel plate isn't stationary, it actually floats up and down with the contours of the parking lot. Not only does it take some of the abuse of the parking lot into the plow and not into the machine itself, but also it Actually, if you look closely right here, those front cutting edges are already starting to wear out. 
right there. I should have noticed it. I mean, I'm filming it. Why aren't I noticing it? I'm literally watching my plow getting destroyed in front of me without doing anything right now. Well, the gotta be kidding me. My day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> One of my pet peeves is hopping into pieces of equipment and not having fuel in it. 23 miles to, look at that thing. It's, I mean, it is as low on E as you could possibly get it. <sighs> It is so cool. <laughs> Love it. Oh my god, he's gonna cover that side. Oh yeah. That is just wild. Sorry guys, this to me I love. I love watching stuff like this. Maybe you guys do too. That's why you follow me. So that's why I'm sharing it. But I'm off to my snowball site now. Alright, nothing like a sketchy truck ride through sleet, ice, and snow to wake you up for the day. But we're here, we're at the Quattro, uh, Quattro facility. Whoa, this is really slick. We're at the Quattro, the home of Snow Wolf. Now we gotta find a door that's open. Let's go peek. Is anybody home? Hey, there's mine. Right there. Ugh. Hello, somebody let me in. Little piggy, little piggy. Where the heck is the front door? I know there's a side door over here. Man, it is slick out. Holy crap. Look at that one. That beauty. Let's go, let's go inside. Let's see what's happening. We made it. We made it inside. Let's go see my plot. Is this one mine? Yeah. Okay. So there we can see how they've upgraded heavier, definitely heavier duty. Holy crap. Okay, so there's, is this the, is this blood? Oh my gosh, that is much heavier duty. There's no comparison. Wow, that is definitely an upgrade. Hey, I parked right over there, so I don't know if I'm in that truck's way or not. Probably am. Yeah, I'm right on the side, I'm right there. I'm in the way. I'll move. He's got to. It's so slick out here. He's got to get up to ramming speed. All right, let's see this. It's sheet ice. All right, there's mine. Here's a whole fleet of new ones getting ready to go out the door. Definitely some improvements on those. together again. Made it back safe. Look at what I, look at that. I call that trailer jug. Time to get that off the trailer. Trailer jug. It's a fun day out in the snow tonight. Did you just say a fun day out in the snow tonight? Polish. There's Tim. 
this is hooking up. We got TLB1 getting hooked up. TLB2 on board. There's my truck with the pull plow. One skid loader, two skid loader, three skid loader, four. In line for fuel. All right, let's see what's happening with the guys. So we gotta have a little talk about the way we operate the snow plow because some snow plows are pretty much, you know, plug and play. Others require a little bit of a learning curve. This one, because it's got the wings on it, and the wings move back and forth, it does have kind of a learning curve to it. One of the things I wanna make sure is we're not getting too much down pressure on the plow itself. If you guys are tilted back, like you're leaning in a lawn chair, trying to get a suntan, you're, you got too much down pressure on. If you can, if you can just lift your front tires off the ground, that's fine. But I want you to take a look at the snowplow right now, the position it's in. That's the way I just put it. Do you see how up it's completely flush with the ground? That's the way it should be when you guys are snowplowing. Also, look at the skid loader itself. You see how the skid loader, all four tires are on the ground? It doesn't require much down pressure. Really, just even the slightest amount because we're not trying to grind the asphalt away we're literally just trying to scrape the snow off now kick that one more time for me would you Thomas so now you've got steel edging on it but here's kind of one of the things I want you guys to do with every piece of equipment we have out here is as you're using the piece of equipment if you notice or feel anything is off at any time it's just a matter of stopping it's common sense looking it over look at cut, look for cutting edges Look for anything that may be an issue, right? Just the other day, Tim blew a hose on the TLB. He saw a puddle of oil, he stopped it immediately. Like, as soon as the hose blew, and we were able to make the repair without adding any more hydraulic oil and without trailing hydraulic oil all over the parking lot. So, just the little things go a long way. So, as an operator, it's not just about being the best at, at running the piece of equipment, it's also about making sure that the piece of equipment is working the best it can for you guys. This is watch your cutting edges. If you ever notice that the cutting edge right here on the side, if you ever notice that this cutting edge is getting up into the actual moldboard of the snowplow, then you've got to stop. Because what hap that's what happened with this one too. Because once you get to that point, and you shoot and you wear down the bolt hole the snowplow is dead you can't you can't save it whatever you guys do don't do this but growing up on the farm whenever we wanted to get around we just hopped on the back of the tractor and hung on it wasn't safe it wasn't right but it's the way i grew up so tonight i want to have a little fun i'm going to hop on the top of it and take you guys along for the ride but whatever you do don't do this on your own but tonight you're riding with me so it's okay And yes, that is the last time I'm doing that because Johnny is half nuts. Let's take a look at the look on my face. So, let's get back to the point of this video and see how they're doing with the quattro plow and if they learned anything. <laughs> 